Let's see uh, one more question from linear differential equation with constant coefficient. This is an important question because uh, we'll discuss one important concept uh, which will be used in this question. So first of all, uh, we'll move ahead with the complementary function. So replace d by m. So you will get auxiliary equation as m power 4 plus 2m square plus 1 equals to 0. No problem whatsoever because this is m square plus 1 the whole square. This equals to 0. So you can write this as m square plus 1 times m square plus 1 equals to 0. Now from here you are getting m as plus minus iota 2 times. Repeat it. So, in case the complex roots are repeated, you write your complementary function as e power ax. A here is uh, 0 in both the case, 0 plus minus uh, uh, 1 in times iota, 0 plus minus 1 times iota. So, e power 0x. Now, c1 plus c2x and with that you write cos of bx. b here is 1. So cos of 1x plus c3 plus c4x and with that you write sine of bx. Again b here is 1 so you will write something like this. So complementary function simplified version will be c1 plus c2x times cos x plus c3 plus c4x times sin x. Now I will move ahead with the particular integral where you will use a small concept particular integral will be 1 upon uh, f of d which is uh, d square d power 4 plus 2d square plus 1 and this will operate on x square cos x now you know that e power iota x can be written as cos x plus iota sin x Now, if I ask you what is the real part of real part of e power i x, then you will say cos x. And what is the imaginary part of e power i x, then you will say that uh, uh, iota sin x. Okay. Now. This is important because whenever a uh, question will be like this, instead of cos x in RHS, if you get sin x, then you will use this concept, second one. And in this question, you will use the first concept and say that our particular integral will be same as real part of, real part of 1 upon d power 4 plus 2d square plus 1. And e power iota x because real part you will get cos x only which is the required particular integral so now we can solve this because e power ax into v so very easy concept bring this e power iota x out replace this d by d plus iota so 2 times d plus iota whole square plus 1 and now uh, you will get uh, only x square here okay so now uh, what we can do that uh, here uh, it can be written as m square plus 1 the whole square also so for the sake of simplification instead of using this I would alternatively write this as e power iota x this I am replacing by my simplified version which is d square plus 1 the whole square d square plus 1 the whole square ok uh, uh, just wait uh, here only if I write uh, this as 1 upon d square plus 1 the whole square operating on x square e power iota x now if I take e power iota x out 1 upon replace this d by d plus iota whole square plus 1 and this whole square operating on x square. So rather than going for 
this two step you can write here the real part of this okay so uh, we will not go for this uh, because this is the expanded form will create troubles uh, after this step now this is a smooth because e power iota x 1 upon a plus b whole square so a square plus b square plus twice a b and plus 1 you are having its whole square operating on x square so this is e power iota x 1 upon d square minus 1 iota square plus 2 d iota plus 1 so this will get cancelled this is why i have used this step so e power iota x 1 upon d square plus 2 d iota will now be operating on x square okay uh, sorry uh, this was the whole square of this thing also so again the whole square so e power iota x 1 upon now I can easily open this d power 4 plus 4 d square iota square plus 4 d cube uh, plus 4 d cube d square first term and d from the second term into iota operating on x square so this will be e power iota x 1 upon d power 4 again this will be minus 1 so minus 4 d square and plus 4 d cube times iota operating on x square so what is the rule for x power n take the lowest degree term out which is here 4 d square with a minus sign so I will take e power iota x as it is I will take the lowest degree term which is minus 1 upon minus 4 d square if I take this out I will be left with divide this by d square uh, 4 d square rather with a negative sign so you will get a minus sign you will get a d square and you will get a 4 in denominator okay from here you are getting a plus 1 uh, which we can write later on if you divide this you will get minus of iota divided by d uh, uh, d will be numerator and a plus 1 because of this term okay so this is it x square now I can rewrite this in numerator as 1 plus this thing raised to power minus 1 okay so let's go to the next step so this was my last step so let's move ahead i am sending this to numerator rest everything remains as it is this uh, minus 1 by 4 can also be taken out 1 upon d square now if this goes to denominator this can be written as 1 plus this thing which is uh, minus of d square by 4 minus of iota d and raised to power minus 1 and this will now operate on x square so 1 plus x raised to power minus 1 so because here we have plus so you will get alternate plus minus sign 1 minus x plus x square minus x cube and plus so on so this will be the formula the expansion so minus e power iota x divided by 4 ok 1 upon d square which will deal later now 1 so 1 minus of x so minus of this thing will be you will get a positive thing so plus d square by 4 plus iota d and do we need uh, the further ones yes because x square derivative is 2x 2x derivative is so up to uh, so first derivative uh, will be uh, 2x second derivative will be 2 and third derivative will be 0 so let me write one more term which is x square so this square if you do so minus will get cancelled so you will get d square by 4 plus iota d the whole square I am not going to the further term uh, one this was minus and this is plus uh, next term will be negative let's leave that this will operate on x square because I don't need the higher derivative because this that will become 0 only so minus e power iota x divided by 4 
वन बाई डी स्क्वायर नाउ सी लेट्स सिंप्लीफाई दिस फर्दर सो वन प्लस डी स्क्वायर बाई फोर प्लस आयोटा डी नाउ हेयर यू आर गेटिंग डी पावर फोर बाय सिक्सटीन प्लस आयोटा स्क्वायर डी स्क्वायर प्लस टू डी क्यूब आयोटा डिवाइडेड बाय फोर ओके सो ऑन नाउ यू ऑलरेडी नो दैट थर्ड डेरिवेटिव इज जीरो सो दिस विल बी जीरो दिस विल अगेन बी जीरो सो नो नीड टू राइट वी कैन रिप्लेस दैट बाय जीरो along with the other terms so this is 4 this is 1 by d square uh, multiply this x square inside so we'll get x square here second derivative first derivative is 2x second derivative is 2 so 2 by 4 is nothing but 1 by 2 iota time first derivative which is 2x so 2x iota okay and this is not this is 0 this is 0 iota square which is minus 1 and second derivative first derivative is 2x second derivative is 2 so simply write here rest everything is zero i'm not writing them now this we can uh, simplify now and write this as 1 by d and another 1 by d i'm writing as integral so integral of x square plus half plus 2x iota minus 2 dx Okay, so minus e power iota x by four one by d. Now let's uh, integrate this. So you will get x cube plus x by two. Uh, here you will get uh, x square by two. Two two will get cancelled. So x square iota. And here you will get minus two x. Now again integrate. So minus e power iota x by four. Again, integral of x cube plus x by two plus x square iota minus two x dx. So you will get uh, minus e power iota x by four. This will be x power four by four. Uh, you did something wrong. X square integration is x cube by three. So uh, here you will get x cube by three. So x power four and another three also you will get. Uh, if you integrate this, you will get x square by two. So x square by four in totality. Now x cube by three iota. Again two two will get cancelled. So you will get minus of x square. Now again I am writing this uh, e power iota x as cos x. This can be written as minus of cos x plus iota sin x divided by four, and this is x power four by twelve plus x square by four plus x cube iota by three minus of x square. And you remember you needed the real part of this. So. Uh, cos x when multiplied by this, this, and this will give me real part because if I multiply cos x by this, this will be imaginary. So minus of cos x divided by four being multiplied by x power four by twelve plus x square by four minus of x square. Then uh, this iota sin x only when multiplied by this will give me the real part because other uh, you will get iota so that will become imaginary so minus of iota into iota iota square into minus so plus sin this sin x by 4 multiplied by this x cube by 3 okay so this is the required part because this is the real part of this now my particular integral i can finally write as Uh, minus one by four. This uh, I can simplify this further. X square one by four minus one. So one minus four by four. That is minus three by four. So x power four by twelve minus three by four x square, 
and with sin x uh, by 4 I have x cube by 3 so it's time to reach to the final answer which is y equals to cf plus pi my cf as you all know is c1 plus c2 x times cos x plus c3 plus c4 x times sin x plus your pi which you have found recently which is minus 1 by 4 x power 4 by 12 minus 3 by 4 x square plus sin x by 4 x cube by 3 you can uh, multiply this 1 by 4 inside if necessary uh, now we'll uh, go to the uh, question once again first the complementary function repeated complex root so you know better how to solve this now again uh, instead of writing solving for cos x we solve for real part of e power iota x so uh, this two steps was not needed so let's omit this in order to avoid confusion so real part of this we continue solving we know the uh, idea for x raised to power n also we applied that uh, at first we applied e power x into v so e power x came uh, outside and replaced d by d plus iota then for uh, x raised to power n we used then we further simplified 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 1 by d square means integration twice we did that then the real part of again we replaced e power iota x as cos x plus iota sin x and then the final answer. So that's it from this question y equals to cf plus vy we did at the last. Uh, let's uh, see this uh, real part of this. So this cos x was also there because sin x we wrote cos x will also be there. So with this uh, we will have a cos x which I forgot to write and this also with this I will have a cos x. Let's simplify this further if you want. So c1 plus c2 x times cos x plus c3 plus c4 x times sin x. Now what I can do is to take LCM so you will get uh, x power 4 minus 9 x square and 12 will be the LCM so minus 1 by 48 will come out x power 4 minus 9 x square multiplied by cos x plus uh, x cube sin x divided by 12. Now this is your final answer for this question. No problem in this uh, particular solution. Uh, uh, you have seen uh, this step. This was a quite a lengthy question. Lengthiest of all. Uh, I hope you understood this question.